Learn all about living in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico from Nicholas Trenchon in this video interview with Expats in Mexico. Why did you choose Puerto Vallarta? Oh, because I already knew other parts of Mexico because uh, when I came first time, I was in Querétaro and I've been traveling a lot as a backpacker. So I, I was uh, knowing uh, quite a lot the center of the country. And after being in Reynosa, I'd been traveling a bit in the north, and it wasn't a great part because there's no culture, there's no fun, and there's a lot of narcos. So it's, it's quite a dangerous place. And uh, when we decided to come back to Mexico, well, uh, I didn't want to go in a big city because I don't like big cities, and I don't want to be in the north because I knew it was dangerous. So she already knew Puerto Vallarta, my, my wife, because she had been uh, when she was a teenager. And I had some Mexican friends that told me about Puerto Vallarta. It was, uh, I was looking for a place to surf. And uh, well, we were decided to, tr to make a try because we didn't know the job. So we, we made a road trip uh, uh, from the north where we bought a car. And we went through Mexico, through uh, Querétaro, Guadalajara to check for job opportunities. And we went back to, um, to Puerto Vallarta just to see the town, to, uh, to see if we could find some job opportunities. It was easier for my wife because she was a practitioner, so mm -hmm. she could find a job anyway. Mm -hmm. But in my case, I, was, I wasn't so sure I wanted to start as an employee or start my business. And uh, at the end, my wife told me we have to start here because uh, if we don't try now, uh, we, can, uh, we will never do it uh, after. So we, we just settled down in, uh, in Puerto Vallarta and uh, we tried. So what's your business? Ah, I've got, uh, I've got a ju jewelry business uh, online. And right now what we do is we sell our own uh, makings uh, online, or we make a custom made uh, jewelry uh, for people in, uh, in France. Uh, the fact is I didn't start like this because when I started, uh, I was just reselling, reselling uh, silver jewelry that I was uh, buying uh, here in Puerto Vallarta, uh, jewelry from uh, Guadalajara, uh, Tasco, and I was uh, I was selling them uh, in, uh, online. And by the time I had more contact with um, with clients, and uh, I started to make some custom made uh, design, and so I, I started to make uh, like a, a team of uh, jewelers uh, downtown, and they were making the jewelry I needed for my clients. And uh, a few years uh, after, well, uh, I needed to have my own uh, workshop because uh, I needed to be uh, uh, to make quicker, uh, improve quality, and to have a better control of the design. So uh, I started with my own uh, jewelry workshop, like uh, we, with one one guy, and uh, and it was back in 2016, in July uh, 2016, and uh, and since then I've been uh, growing uh, slowly my uh, my workshop with. Uh, I've got two employees now, and I've got more tools and more uh, more capacity of production. So, what got you interested in uh, jewelry? Oh, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, an opportunity, I think. Where because when we 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 brainstorm with my wife in France to to make a business for her, uh, I already had some contacts of friends in uh, Tasco. And uh, because my wife was Mexican, she had an opportunity to go back to Mexico to find jewelry. In fact, this is the way we, we started. So if, my, if I didn't have the time, my wife was going to Tasco, buy uh, like uh, 2,000 euros of uh, jewelry with a uh, wholesale price. And she was bringing it to France. And there we were uh, trying to sell online on, uh, with friends uh, the jewelry. So the, the, it was an easier way for us to start a business. That would be different from um, other kind of business in France because you needed some contacts in Mexico to make it work. So we started this way. So is France your largest market or your exclusive right market? Now, yes. Yeah, right now, yes, because I've started with France and I've been growing the French market. And right now I'm just working on my uh, English website because I've got uh, two websites. And uh, I've started this website in English like in 2018. But it was like uh, it wasn't my prior priority uh, because in the eyes of Google, you need some uh, like uh, edge on your website to make it work. So since uh, December, this is my full uh, time priority. I'm making just uh, marketing and improving the website to focus on the U.S. market. What are your best selling pieces of jewelry? 
Uh, we make like uh, half of our business is custom made, so we can make very uh, easy piece of jewelry or very complex. We, we do both. It's almost the same in uh, revenue. It's, al it's almost the same. Uh, the difference is uh, what we sell uh, for two two 2020, um, the average price for uh, our jewelry is like uh, 500 euros, average price. But when it's uh, custom made, the average price is uh, 1,000 euros. It's 990 euros or something like that. So because uh, of the stones and because of the complexity of the designs, so this is the main difference. So we, we do sell more uh, uh, jewelry from our website, but the average price of custom made is uh, much higher because uh, people are looking for uh, more specific uh, uh, jewelry parts. So because of that, we uh, we have this difference. Let's uh, change gears a little bit and talk about your life in Puerto Vallarta since you've lived here for uh, for nine years now. Um, yeah. You still like it? Yeah, I, I love it. Uh, I, each weekend almost we go to uh, to the beach. Uh, well, I've got a kid now, so it's different because I, after uh, before I was uh, I was surfing, but I don't surf anymore. <laughs> it's, I don't have time anymore. But uh, it's very fun because my kid is seven, so now he's uh, very, uh, he likes to swim, to run, and to play. So that's, that's, that's fun. And uh, we enjoy uh, we enjoy the view. I can't be um, like uh, tired of uh, the countryside, the mountains, and everything. I, I like it. And uh, I've been traveling a lot uh, in South America, so I've been seeing a lot of places that was really great. But sometimes it was very uh, alone. Or sometimes when I was in Rio, it was very big. I didn't like to be in in Rio. Uh, I was living south of Rio. So here, uh, what I like is a small town with quite a lot of uh, for shopping or for uh, for restaurants, this kind of stuff. But if you want to go outside and uh, have a swim, uh, make some sports or or make a walk, uh, it's very easy to have some time and nature with you. So I like it this way. What do you and your wife do for uh, for entertainment? What 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 do you 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 said that you surf or at, at least used to surf? What what other things do you do? Uh, I don't do anything. I think I run. I make some sports uh, mm -hmm. because I spend all my days uh, seated, so I need mm -hmm. to run a bit. And uh, what we do a lot, we go uh, we go to the beach with some friends, and uh, my wife uh, we go to restaurants to for coopers. Uh, to make some stuff uh, together, but mm -hmm. mainly we we just uh, get out uh, and go out on, on the beach, and uh, and that's it. What's your favorite beach? Uh, it's uh, Las uh, Playa Palmares, uh, south of Puerto Vallarta, uh, because of the the shore. There's not so much waves. Yeah. And there's a restaurant, so in, in time we want to go there and uh, we can eat uh, pretty easily. So we go mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Do you have, uh, well, your, uh, is your wife's office uh, close to where you live? No, no, no. She works in uh, San Vicente, in Nayarit. So oh. she has put a long uh, way to go. To oh, work. gosh. Okay, so she's got a long commute. Yeah, yeah, quite a long, yeah. Tell me what the uh, the three uh, things that you love most about living in Puerto Vallarta. Oh, the sky, the blue sky. <laughs> and, uh, well... The time, yeah, uh, I think the, the food uh, is not uh, the same as other places in Mexico, but uh, because there's a lot of uh, seafood, uh, fruits, I really love the, the, love the food here in Puerto Vallarta, and uh, the, the ocean. Uh, being uh, being living uh, on the shore was very important for me because uh, all, all each time I've been traveling, I've been traveling uh, close to the shore. And each time I've been living in France, I was uh, far away from the shore because there's not so many towns uh, with uh, industrial uh, capabilities in France for engineers to, to live there. So I'm really happy to be close to the shore because I don't surf anymore, but this weekend, yesterday, we went uh, to the Playa Palmares and uh, a friend brought a uh, uh, paddle. So I could practice paddle a little bit. And uh, you can uh, you can dive, you can see some fishes. It's, uh, I like it. I like it. <laughs> How do you rate Puerto Vallarta as a uh, as an eating town? Ah, oh, <laughs> uh, I think it's pretty good because uh, there's a lot, a lot of restaurants. That's uh, amazing, uh, and uh, lots of chefs, good chefs uh, from Mexico, the U.S., or some guys, some guys from France. 
So they're very good uh, standards. And um, and uh, and the fact is, my wife is a really great cook, <laughs> and she <laughs> likes to cook uh, in France with my mum. <laughs> So she's uh, she she had she had a what, she had a, during a few months a restaurant a Mexican restaurant in Toulouse in fact, and she's really a good cook, and she likes a good food. So each time she shows a, a new restaurant uh, to go there, but I must say that there are very good quality of food there in uh, in uh, in Puerto Vallarta. Uh, it's very uh, I don't remember uh, to be disappointed by a restaurant here. I mean, if it's, it's, it's a decent restaurant, uh, there's really good food and very nice to even. The funny fact is there's a lot of uh, different kind of food because it's not only Mexican food. You've got uh, uh, like uh, meat, uh, seafood, you've got uh, Asian food, everything. So it's very nice to, to change every time. So we like it. Mm -hmm. So here in Puerto Vallarta, the contrary, uh, we can meet uh, some uh, neighbors. They are Americans, although they are from France, but they've got, uh, they were living in London. Uh, my my kid, he has uh, friends from uh, the U.S., from Argentina, from other countries, and it's it's, it's like uh, if I would like uh, I would have stayed traveling, but I don't move myself. The people are coming mm, by, sure. and it's always a good um, like uh, I like to talk with people coming from abroad because it's, uh, it's very it's, they all have a very interesting uh, point of view or experience, and uh, they know more than me on some subjects, so it's always interesting uh, talking to them. And uh, I, I really like it. I, I don't want to. Uh, I, I can see that before I was missing that in France. I mean, uh, after traveling, I needed to be with some people, travelers or people from uh, other places. That's the wonderful thing about the expat life. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think so. Nicholas, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. I really enjoyed our conversation. Okay.